So this is TV that's been working well uh, up until the point where it started to uh, click, click, click and take 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and finally it died to warm up. Uh, and so we, I took a look at the model number, uh, took it down, took out the PSU and found that it's a bad caps issue on the PSU capacitor. So found the two bulging capacitors, sometimes it's more, and pulled them out. All right, so these are the two points that I pulled the capacitors out from. These are the negative and positive, negative and positive. And actually what I had was, it was difficult to get these things out. Um, you see, like on a motherboard or any kind of a circuit board, these solder points are very, very small, um, difficult to heat up. Uh, so what my friend Keith, thank you very, very much, helped me out with was, he said, actually wet it. So you add more, more solder to the joint and actually so you have a bigger area you can heat up. Now you don't add a huge mound, you just add a little bit extra and what that does is you're able to heat that area up a little bit easier with your uh, soldering iron and I have a 30 watt. Um, it was able to heat it up really well and as I'm heating up I was able to pull them out uh, it, one side at a time. It was great. It worked out beautifully. Thanks a lot buddy. Pulled the caps out, get the specs. Alright, it's a bit of a gamble to uh, order cap capacitors on eBay, but I thought I'd give it a chance and bought some Rubicons, found the exact same um, height, uh, width, and uh, lead width. Um, so the important thing is to remember that it's the microfarads uh, that you want to make sure are the same. The volts can be greater than, get the same temperature, and the lead spacing. Caps are in. Let's put it together. Found there were two people who were extremely happy to have their TV back. <laughs> now, my friend Keith pointed out this uh, website, Newark, uh, Canada, um, and it seems to be a more reliable site. So, if you're going to get some capacitors or any other kind of electrical components, uh, this is definitely a great site to uh, shop from. Uh, what you can do is get, um, you can really narrow down the specifications of what you want. Um, so for example, for the capacitors, you can get, you know, the, the microfarads, the, vol the voltages, the leads, the lead spacings, the, uh, just a whole host of um, options for you. So it's a really good site to go on. And the great thing is it ships extremely quick, so it only took a few days to ship. And the shipping costs, uh, I think for other capacitors that I had to purchase for a different project, they're about $8.